Hello, this is a quick demo on how to use the crawler command uh, to scrap uh, websites, especially e-commerce websites. So let me show you this first example here. I inspect. So this website is a bit heavy, it takes a couple of seconds to load the, the page, but it's coming in. Okay, so as you can see here, there are a lot of products and uh, maybe a hundred or, or a few. And what I noticed is that each, uh, each product page has in its URL slash medicine slash. So I just use the crawler and I tell it to crawl on one level to open six windows at the same time, meaning that this window where it finds the products and then it will open five others, five plus one, meaning that it will scrape five pages at the same time. So you multiply by five the speed of scrapping. That's what I'm doing here with concurrent tabs. This is basically multi-threading. And then I just tell it, I just added a condition and I tell Artila, go on all the links of this page and all the links that have slash medicine slash, you open them in a new window. So that creates the, uh, the loop, that's the crawler loop. And for each window, meaning that each product page that is open, just extract the results. That's it, two commands, and it can go through thousands of products. That's uh, the magic of the crawler by setting up here. You can increase the speed, you can put 10, so that means they will open nine at the same time, or you can put less if you want less mistakes or if you take your time. I noticed that five plus one works pretty fast and gives good results. So now I have my commands that will do the job. So once it opens a, a product page like this, I'm gonna open the Arinac. Then I went to inspection and I created the new data set and then I created the properties. So the properties, uh, it's very easy. You just click here, uh, add a new property. And then once you create the new property, let me create a new one. I create a new one. I call it a uh, new title, for example. And then I click on CSS selector and I select the title. And here you can see that it selected two items, but I only want one title. This yellow here is not good. I just click it again and it will update the CSS class to catch just the title. Now, if I go at the end of my table, I have the new title, which is correct. It's Arinac Forte, 400 milligram. So this is how it works. Uh, you, you guys can watch the uh, onboarding video session and playlist where we explain how to create properties and data sets. So I created one property for the product name, one property for the price. I just clicked on it. Uh, one property for the brand here, and also one property which targets the same uh, but here I use the link so that I can get the brand the URL of the store and then what I catch here is the tags so for pain, menstruation, inflammation, congestion and so on and uh, if there is tags and then the description we catch it in this in this property here we catch all the inventory details how many boxes how many units per box and so on right here we catch the image if there is a main image and we get the URL so that's why I, I use attribute SRC and here, <coughs> here I get the product image. And the last one uh, is to get the product URL that is here. So the way to do that is I use a small filter, a JavaScript filter that you can copy. Uh, this uh, template will be made available, you can download it and train on it. So this will collect the uh, current URL and save it. So now we have our properties. This took me about 10-15 minutes to create. Uh, and it can get us thousands of products and I'm, I'm gonna show you how it works. So I close it now. I run it Okay, so it takes a few seconds because the the home page or, or this uh, Catalog page is, is a little bit heavy, but once it loads the page It's gonna start to open uh, each medicine five of them at the same time. You see here five medicine pages that are being open and they are being scrapped right now. Okay, five done. And if I look at the current count here, you can see here, yeah, we have five, six, eight, nine. Uh, it's doing the job for us, 10. So you can accelerate, you can open even 10 pages at the same time, but it depends on your internet speed and also on the website speed. And this, this website is a bit heavy. So I find that six, which is one plus five, five pages at the same time, does a decent job, which is fast enough, yet uh, catches all the data and doesn't miss any data. So right here, even when you see here, it doesn't display the page fully sometimes. It's okay because Artila, as soon as it gets the HTML and it gets the data, it, it closes the page to save time and, and bandwidth. 
uh, and we will double check that. So if it goes too fast, then maybe instead of five, I will only open three and then you will have more time to deal with the data. So maybe now we have 35, 50. So I propose we wait until we get 100. 100 is a good amount of results to see if we are missing uh, some data before I shut down the automation. So I'm gonna let it run a little bit, let's watch. So it's still going through the page A. And uh, of course later also we can add the pagination because there is on the top paginations, page A, page B, C until page Z. We can do that on the second step. Right now, uh, this automation will scrap everything that is on the first page, page A. Okay, how many we have? Getting there, 85. Okay. 88, 90, maybe another two sets of five and we will get into 100. I think that should be almost there. 90, yeah, 96. And the next batch is gonna give us 100. Okay, we got 100 results. I can I just close it for now. All right, now I closed it. Now I go to results and let's double check. We have 103 results. And indeed, I got all the data, each product name, price, the brand, the brand URL. If there are tags, they are being caught. If there is no tags, then it gets empty. The description, the inventory details, the product image. When it's empty, that means they didn't have an image. And the product URL so that you can go back to it. And you can see here, I have eight pages of results. So if I go to the next one, data is good. Data is good, nothing is missing. All there, all there. And I get, they all look good. I got 100 results very fast without uh, a single mistake. So that's the power and stability of, uh, of Artila. I hope you like it. And this uh, template will be made available for you to learn from it and reverse learn and, and run it. Thank you.